Welcome back. Dr. Greg Hurst from the White Oaks Animal Hospital joins us in studio now to answer some of your pet questions. So, Dr. Hurst, thanks so much for joining us Thank today. You. Today we're talking about how you know, dogs and cats can bring so much joy to our life, companionship, but they can also bring in some diseases that we don't realize we can be vulnerable to. What are some of the viruses and diseases that yes. they can carry that we could catch? That is true. And, you know, there's some common things out there that uh, are really something you really need to stay on top of. And, you know, intestinal parasites, uh, they carry things like roundworms and hookworms. Well, those are transferable to people. Uh, especially people that have uh, compromised immune systems or undeveloped immune systems. So like children, elderly people, people undergoing like uh, chemotherapy and mm -hmm. things like that. And how do we catch those things? Could it be them licking us? Sure. Well, they, they, they bring these things in. It's through their stool. Uh, you know, so having good hygiene around them is important because you're petting them and touching them and kids are playing with things and not mm -hmm. washing their hands. Uh, so it's, it's as easy as that. Are there things that we could be doing to make sure that they don't get these parasites, um, um, medical or you know, just making hygiene things for them? Sure. Well, having regular visits that are s scheduled with your veterinarian, they'll, they'll be testing for things to check for those things. Uh, also, uh, many of the monthly heartworm uh, preventatives have intestinal uh, parasite protection. So if you're staying current on that, you're taking care of things. So it can be as easy as that. And like heart guard or something, that, sure. those ones. Okay. Yeah. And then there are other diseases to worry about as well. Uh, fungal infections like ringworm uh, can be carried. Usually cats are high incidence carriers of that. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's, it's just important to practice good hygiene, regular visits to your veterinarian, and they will keep things current for you. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, these monthly things, sometimes you think, oh, how important is this? But uh, it, it really does prevent many different things that are. All right. Dr. Hurst, thank you so much for all those tips.